One of the best toys that you can get for your dog is a rubber ball. These things are incredible and so much better than tennis balls. These are fantastic because they clean really, really well, which means you can take it outside if it gets muddy, if there's slobber all over it, if it picks up pieces of grass and dirt, easy to wash these. Whereas with tennis balls, you just have to let them get dirty and replace them. And these are softer than tennis balls. So as they're chewing, they get really good bounce back on that rubber, but it's not going to get stuck as easy. So I really love these rubber balls. They also bounce a lot higher than a tennis ball does. And they come in different colors. So you can get it in a small pack of like three. You can get it in a big pack. There's lots of ways that you can be getting rubber balls. I also have some of these in glow in the dark as well. So I'm going to link my favorite brand of these rubber balls. And I'm also going to link some of the glow in the dark ones that we have as well, because the glow in the dark ones are so fantastic for early mornings and late, like late, late afternoon evenings into nighttime. So if you're taking your dog out to play, you're going to be able to find them as they're playing. Also very helpful for nighttime snow play too. So you want to make sure you're getting the appropriate size for your dog on the tags. They are going to say what size or what pound weight it is going to be so that you get the appropriate size. You may get them that look the appropriate size, but it might actually be a little bit too small for your dog and that can get stuck in their throat. So you want to make sure you're careful to get the correct size for any toy that goes for tennis balls as well. And then you're going to be able to have these that you can put on rotation. So if your dog likes to play with these inside, it's going to bounce really well. If you want to have some inside outside, you can do those as well. I like to have mine just for outside. So Lucy is not allowed to play with these inside. My other dogs don't play with these as much, but this is Lucy's toy of choice. And these are strictly outside toys for her. So she knows if she wants to play with this, she's going outside, which is why she wants to spend most of her life outside playing. And so I just toss this right from the door and I kind of let her chase it across the yard and she just carries it as she plays. And then if she wants me to throw it, she'll put it down for me. Otherwise, she'll just carry it around. I really like it because it has the holes in it. So this is going to allow you to easily clean this without anything getting trapped on the inside. I put my finger in it and I use it to kind of fling it if it's kind of icky. It's covered in slobber and grass and things like that. I can just kind of stick a finger in it without having to touch too much of it, which is kind of nice for keeping my hands clean. And again, it bounces really, really well. So I very much like these. Lucy prefers the purple colored ones that kind of translates to almost like a blue color for them. There are also these green ones and these blue ones as well. And then, of course, we also have the glow in the dark and other companies will make other colors and other types of these. But I really like these because it's so hard to damage it. She has never been able to damage one of these and she breaks most of her toys. Now, I'm sure if I kind of let her to her own devices inside for a prolonged period of time, she could tear this up because she can get her teeth in there and she can easily tear that up. But because it's strictly an outside toy, she has not damaged it. And when she has snuck them inside, she hasn't been able to do any damage before I'm able to take it away from her. Another thing that I really like about this is that it is so squishable. So when she puts it inside of her mouth, sometimes you know, a tooth can get stuck somewhere. If I need to remove it from her mouth, all I have to do is squish it and then take it out of her mouth. That's going to be a lot harder to do with a tennis ball. It doesn't happen often and her teeth really don't get stuck in here, but I want to make sure I'm always very careful with it because we have to take care of their teeth. And so if I need to remove it from her mouth and it's not easily coming out, I just make sure I get my fingers around it and squish it down. And that allows me to remove it very easily from her mouth without struggling or without getting it trapped inside of her mouth. But again, appropriate size toys for the appropriate size dog will prevent a lot of you know things from jamming in their mouths or heaven forbid, getting caught inside of their throat where they aren't able to breathe. So this is going to be really nice for me to be able to easily remove this from her. And of course, my dog is still a puppy. So as she, you know, every once in a while, it's, it's very rare, but every once in a while, she'll clamp down. And she will not let me take something out of her mouth. I can get it out. So this is a really good option for me, for us, for our puppies as we are playing. This is going to be a good option for you as well and significantly better than playing with a tennis ball because you can clean these. You can reuse these. You're not going to lose these as much and they bounce a lot better. They're a lot more effective for them chewing and it's a lot easier for you to take it from them if you need to do so. So I highly recommend these. I'm going to link these down below as well as the glow in the dark versions. That's going to allow you to make the best choices for you and your pup. And they're actually really super affordable. So even if they get dirty, even if you break them, even if you lose them on your walks, 
you're going to then be able to replace those very easily. Also very fun for playing in the water with as well. So if you want to follow along, we're giving you more recommendations on toys and on enrichment tools for your dogs and daily videos helping you navigate the world of being a dog parent so you can give your pup the best life possible. We'll see you in the upcoming episodes.